الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Fasting requires patience, and fasting exercises patience, and fasting blesses a person to attain a level of patience by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the things that the believer for those who are really concerned about these issues has to be patient with but the reward is immense with is while a person is fasting due to the dehydration and the lack of food and intake and so forth you receive cotton mouth or dry mouth and along with that, a smell that when a person fasts, of course due to dehydration and a lack of food in their stomach, that you will, more often than not, their breath will be, may become unpleasant. However, the mu'min, the believer, will realize if they understand and know the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which tells us about the greatness and the reward and that Allah is pleased with the person who fasts and will reward them on top of that even for the foul smell that may come from their mouth his or her mouth that they will be rewarded for that and that it is not just a matter of just having a dry mouth restraining yourself from food and drink but there is immense reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to this فَعَنَا بِي هُرَيْرَةَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنَا أَنْهُ قَالَ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَلَذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بيده خلف فم الصائم أطيب عند الله من ري المسك أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه the the rawi or the one who narrated the most hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said By the one whose hand, whose hand Muhammad's soul is in. That the smell of the one who, who has uh, bad breath from fasting is more beloved to Allah than the smell of misk or musk. And this hadith is a hadith that was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. So again, it illustrates for us that although a person is tested with the minor displeasure of perhaps a uh, foul smelling mouth due to dryness and so forth that the reward is immense and that that smell which we find displeasing is more beloved to Allah the Lord of the worlds who created you and me and created the heavens and the earth than the smell of a ver of a uh, uh, an, uh, an excellent smelling misk or musk and we know how beloved musk is to some of us who like 
the atar, or who like the the oils and the perfumes. So it shows us that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fact that you're being obedient, the fact that you're obeying his command, the fact that you're sacrificing for his sake, is more beloved to him subhanahu wa ta'ala than that smell. And then that smell is to even us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our fasting and bless us with good in this life as well as the hereafter. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم